We'll be tying the popper, one of the fly assembly kits from Shore Fishing. That can get you on six popper at the end of your uh, tying pack. So first of all, in your kit, you will have the pattern, both in French and in English. You will have your hook. These have a special shape actually to hold the popper head. You will got your popper TCS head. You will have crystal flash, you will have polar fiber, and you will have your hackle. So, you also got the white fly tying thread. So there is multiple way actually to do this fly. My way will be to start up by building a thread under body. Actually, this will help the head to stick really well into the hook because this head we will add it at the end and it will actually be holding all that by some glue. First of all, you take your crystal flash and I love to take between four and five strand. It, it really depends on uh, your tying style. I love mine with less, maybe less uh, than some, some, someone else. You want your tail to be around two times the length of the hook. So I tie it right here and what I'll be doing is I'll be going forward for about a centimeter and then I will fold my crystal flash back. So this way my crystal flash will be held in place really really tight and it will last really really long. Second step will be your polar fiber. You will mainly got uh, a two inch and a half or three inch patch. You can decide if you want to do only the six flies that are included, uh, the six hooks actually, and the six popper head that are included in the pack. You can simply devise your polar fiber uh, in six. So you put one sixth of the patch on every fly and this way you won't have any waste you won't have any material that you did not use that will be laying around forever on your tying desk so I'm holding it really by the bottom of of my strand and I will simply take out a little bit of the fuzzy fiber there you want your tail to be slightly longer than your crystal flash. So holding it right here, I will be tying it down. And once I will be close to this little bump in my hook, I will simply cut it at a 45 degrees angle. This way I will have a little bit of material that will be under the head and that will help to help my, my head in place. You go all the way back with your tying thread and it is now time to put the head. To put the head actually you can use hot glue, you can use super glue, you can use really a lot of different things. Uh, epoxy will be the absolutely best because of the time of the, the videos I will be using UV resin. It is not as strong as epoxy. Epoxy will be really the best part for sure. So what I'll be doing is I'll be putting a good layer of this glue your head actually have a slot on the bottom of them so you will open them up just enough to slip them on your hook next you will place it where you want you can turn your hook like this or you can simply 
turn it around in your vise if you don't have a rotary vise it work as well and I will make sure that I got enough glue to hold everything there if it was epoxy actually I would put a good uh, I would put my head then I would open it and I would use a, a toothpick to simply push the epoxies in there so holding it I want the slot to be lined up with my hook point I will be pressing on the head and I will be curing it so this UV actually is heavier than uh, it is denser than the rest of the material so it will help also to get my fly to uh, to float upright in the water once it is all dried up you can go to your final step so you turn back the popper and you take one of the hackle feather that you have in there and you will be tying it by the tip just like this you can trim off the excess and you bring a thread all the way back to the, the back of the popper head actually and what I love to do is to put a little bit of UV resin that I will push against the head so what we will do with this is actually when we will finish or or uh, when we will be using the the, tr the hook when we'll be using in fact <laughs> what I mean is the whip finisher we can dry it off with the UV light and it will be really really durable so you turn your hackle all the way to your tying point there you will do a couple of turns with your thread just to hold the feather there cut away the excess you can do a whip finish if you have a really big whip finisher actually it is the best thing to use trim off the excess and now you can cure it with your UV light because you've put a little bit a little drop of UV resin in there at first or if you don't have UV actually you can simply use your uh, normal fly a head cement it will be just as good so the popper is done we're ready to fish you can fish for of course striped bass with it but i tend to use them for smallmouth largemouth bass and pike quite a lot so that was the fly some like it popper from shore fishing